What's cracking, guys? Matrick here. Welcome to another episode of Shop Talk. Oh, and Pokemon. On this episode, we have three packs to open. Uh, what we have is a Rebels Clash, good old Vivid Voltage, and can't go wrong with the Champion's Path. So, you guys seem to like this segment. Um, reading through the comments section, it's got a couple of people more interested in it, and that's what I like to hear. I've read other comments also asking what you guys want us to talk about. So, there was a question about the JDM scene. So, price-wise, um, the highs and lows, where I kind of think it's going to go, or what my opinion is on the price hike. Uh, so, we'll have a talk about that. And I also want to touch base on the new GR Yaris. Uh, the thing's a weapon, and I think there's a lot of companies doing a lot of cool stuff with it. So we'll have a little chat about that and go from there. Right, as you guys can see, the setup this week is a bit different to last week. I want to keep improving it, making it a lot better. I'd hope to get another little desk setup over on the side here, away from my actual workbench where I can um, do these little Pokemon openings and chats. So hopefully you guys will see an improvement each week and it'll be for the better. Um, so what I've got is a little backdrop at the moment and it's a bit more of an ideas board. So what I was thinking is I could have the starter Pokemon down here and go through and sort of work out roughly how many packs it takes to open each one of them. So I'll go grab a couple of... Um, pins different color ones and then what we'll do is say Charmander through to its evolutions if it takes me three packs to get one of them we'll do that and the card that we actually pull I was thinking I might get a copy printed out and put it up there put a little date of when we pulled that one righty oh what we got is a little good luck Pikachu I 3d printed it the other week so I thought I'd Put him over here and hopefully he does bring us a little bit of good luck. We'll crack into our first pack. Uh, which is the Rebels Clash. Um, hopefully we get one of those cards that I was talking about the other week. Get yourself some free Pokemon. One, three, four. Now... I got in trouble the other week for throwing the energies, so I'll put them aside in the nice little spot here that says uh, discard. But we might have a guess before we throw it away. So I reckon this one is a fire. Uh, we got a water. So we'll throw that one aside. Got a friend that wants them, so he might have a few coming his way. We, our first Pokemon is a Pilot Toad, which kind of just looks like a Tadpole. Uh, we've got Scoop Up Net, we've got Chat Atut, Applin, which is just an apple. Uh, we've got Get a Haircut, we got Swordfish, we got a Galarian Meowth, a Surskit, a Reverse Hollow is an impudent and our rare is oh falcons b now it's not a full art and how you can tell the difference between a full art and a standard art is a full art actually has a texture across it as well um so once we find one of those i'll show you guys but in saying that this is a very nice card The centering is off a fair chunk, as you can see, like the center image itself is way off compared to the border itself too. Uh, we'll still sleeve him up and put him at the back. Well, actually, I'll put it to the side here in our prize cards. Uh, we'll do the same thing, we'll go through at the end. Before we open the Champion's Path one, um, I just want to talk about the... JDM scene and why I think the price is kind of spiking and why we will continue to see a spike. So 
it's got a couple of factors in it. It's pretty much a supply and demand kind of situation. Um, yeah, as more people are getting interested in it, um, they're looking for all the standard parts. Like, there's a lot of aftermarket parts out there at the moment uh, coming up. People making constantly, constantly making new parts. But what you find is everyone's chasing those old school cool parts and they're just getting harder to find. So like uh, people are just scaring Yahoo auctions or different Japanese auction places and snapping them up and then they kind of have the monopoly on them. Like uh, for instance, back, uh, we're going back a couple of years now, um, someone bought all the headlights for the JZA80. Um, they pretty much then become the monopoly of it, which allowed them to set their prices as high as they wanted. Um, you can now get, or you still could find them through your shop, uh, your local Toyota dealership and stuff like that. Um, but their prices were ridiculous. They pretty much put them on par to what everyone else was selling them. Um, another one is, well, it's America. It's pretty obvious. Uh, their 25 year rule comes in effect with a lot of the cars of this era and pretty much the Supra and the RX-7 were the only ones that they had. They had a lot of limited factors of them. So now that they've got the chance to get them, there's a lot more Americans than there is Australians. There's a lot more Americans than there is a lot of people. Um, so their want outweighs the want of everyone else. So that's why you're seeing a lot larger demand for cars. Like you'll be hit up every second week. What do you want to sell? Do you want to sell? Do you want to buy? And there's just people on there just buying a car every week. It's the exact same car and then they're the same. They get the monopoly on it. They pass it through and it gets sent off. So that's my thought process on the JDM kind of price hike. Will we see it drop? Maybe. Um, I can't see it plummeting. It's a bit like Bitcoin. Uh, the hype is there, so the hype spikes it up. And then the hype sort of dies down. It drops down in price, but it's still going to continually go up. Like these parts, unless you have heritage listings um, reopen, their parts are just going to keep getting rarer and rarer. Um, especially with guys wanting to build cars to a complete standard of the old school parts. Um, they're pretty much looking through catalogs and going, right here, yeah, I want this, 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 this. That then is dropping the number of them floating around. Um, it's just what it is. It's going to continue to rise. Parts continue to get less. Cars are going to continue to get less unless something sort of changes in that heritage listing side of it. Uh, the only other thing that will change the sort of flow of it is the bigger companies actually re-bringing out cars because um, what you got to look at is for instance everyone's still chasing s13s 180s s14s anything that the old school guys used to drift the new guys want and they're still drifting them uh the problem is is back then they were new cars so they were buying them pretty much off the floor or slightly second hand so to them they weren't like a rarity as such like as it's coming on now these cars aren't being made still so every time someone crashes every time someone breaks them they're less and less again um whereas you know like if the idea of using the 350zs is a great idea because we've got an ample amount of them and they're a newer car so, like, they're still making the 370Z. Now they're on to the 400Z. So, you know, like, that platform is going to continue. The only thing that can change is another following of, you know, the S16 or someone like Toyota to re-bring out a Corolla hatch. Um, so, like, that that's kind of the playing field that we have. Um, with Nissan bringing out the RX-9... If it's good, it might boost up that morale. Um, but that's where we sort of go focus on 
is using newer cars for missiles instead of the old cool school cars. Righty -o. Um, we'll jump into our next pack. Um, I might do a little shuffle so you don't actually know what we're opening. And we'll open up the Vivid Voltage. Yeah, that was a nice little tough pack to open. Let's go that one. Go get yourself some free Pokemon. Radio. Um, fairy. Ah, uh, we got a fire energy. Put that one aside. Make another person happy. Radio. We got a Moo Moo cheese. We got a D what? We got a football with spikes. That's a Barathon actually. Uh, a rock rut. A Wismere. A Trubbish. A Tynamo, a Clobopus, our Reverse Hollow is a Samurat, it's quite a nice card, and our rare is, ooh, ooh, guys, 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 we have Pikachu VMAX, what are the chances? So that one is going to be sleeved straight up. And before I put it away, like, see the texture on it compared to the other one, like, they've actually got little ridges in them. That's how you can tell it's a full art. So we got ourselves our fat Pikachu. And the centering on this one is pretty spot on. I could be picky and say that top to bottom is a little bit off, but I'll probably definitely put this one aside and center it away. Um, so it took us two openings and let's say seven packs before we build our first major card so we'll put that guy aside um i think that actually um it counts for uh mid-time break which i might throw in a nice little asmr um i spend a latte awesome stuff so enjoy So the GR Yaris, uh, it's a it's an amazing platform at the moment. Um, it's all wheel drive, and it's pushing about two seventy five um, horsepower. Um, so it's a little three cylinder, one point six turbo, and it's impressing a lot of people. Um, it's definitely impressed me. I know our local Toyota has one, so I'm hoping one chance I can get down there and have a drive of it, give it a little bit of a review myself. What I've found is a lot of the companies over in Japan, like so like HKS and Gretty and stuff like that, they'll bang straight onto it. Um, HKS is doing a phenomenal job at the moment. Um, so they've just done simple bolt-on modifications with it. Um, so they've done an intercooler kit, hard lines, um, an intake and an exhaust. Uh, they are running a little bit of nitrous in it and they've wound the boost up and like those guys are pushing 475 so they've made a 200 horsepower increase just with a couple of standard bolt-ons which you know a lot of shops can do themselves they're not it's not a big engine overhaul so to say the least that this car is going to be impressive in the future is an understatement like i think it the start so if we have companies still pushing cars like that out the future for the jdm scene is going to be really really good plus nonetheless like if you guys haven't checked out the hks yaris go on have a look at it it's a piece of art um it's as beautiful as the rest of the hks um it's got the hks livery on it that everyone knows and it's a it's a lot wider it's a lot fatter than standard um it's it's just a car that's just got a real rally heritage look to it. Um, you can't go wrong. Rightio, guys. Um, on to the last pack of the night. 
is a champion's path. I still can't get over that we just pulled a Pikachu on our second episode. So I think this is definitely going to be a repeat board here. Um, I've got a couple ideas. I've come across some artwork from Birdie um, where he's done the evolution through. So I might throw that up and just a little tally of either how many we pull or how often we pull them. Like how long it takes us to actually pull them. So I'll sort of see what we come up with there. Champion Path is another one of those really nice artworks. Um, get yourself some free Pokemon. One, two, three, four. And I'm going to go with Lightning. Hey. Right, yeah. Um, I really want to come across one of those cards to show you guys. I it's the artist has done knitting. So there's a fair few of them. I'm sure I could pull one out of a box here somewhere, but we'll wait until we pull it across. And get them out of the way. Um, Rightio, first card off the bat is a Sharpedo. A Pokemon Santa Lady. Now, tell me, is this just not Nurse Joy? Um, we haven't come across her, but she, she's Nurse Joy in every other way. We got the stadium. We got Kakuna. Nice little bit of art there. Uh, we got a Rockwolf. We got a Vulpix. Very nice card. Potion. Now, these ones are starting to look more and more like a slightly different version of our older Pokemon cards. So I am quite enjoying opening all these guys. Um, we got a full heal. Ha. <laughs> Our reverse holo is a get a your haircut, and our rare is, ooh, that was a fancy little card trick, guys, a terrier holo, and it is a pretty card, that'll make Cody happy, she'll put that away up in her collection. Right, guys, I hope you enjoyed another episode of Shop Talk and, oh, Pokemon. And I'll catch us all next week.